In this video, we'll find the number of atoms in MgC2H3O2. This is magnesium acetate. You'll also see magnesium acetate written like this here. Although it looks quite different, it's the exact same thing. We have two carbons here, and we have one, two carbons here, three hydrogens, two oxygens here, and two oxygens here. These are just two different ways to write it. Let's work with this one in this video. So let's write down the elements first. We have M, G, C, H, and O. So these are our elements. And for the M, G, there's nothing written after it. There's no subscript. So there's just one magnesium. For the carbon, there's two. But this two, everything in these parentheses, is multiplied by the subscript outside. So it's two times two. So we have four carbon atoms. Hydrogen, there are three three times two, that'll give us six. Oxygen, we have two times two, that'll give us four. So this two applies to everything in parentheses. If we want to find the total number of atoms for magnesium acetate, we just add these up. Six plus four is 10, plus four, 14, 15 total atoms in magnesium acetate. Sometimes you're asked to figure out how many atoms there are in one mole of magnesium acetate. So if we wanted to figure out how many carbon atoms there are in one mole of magnesium acetate, we'd multiply the number of atoms, four, times Avogadro's number. Four times Avogadro's number gives us this here, which is the number of carbon atoms in one mole of magnesium acetate. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.